Hey guys, and welcome back to the Command Block Academy, where we will be going through my Command Block Academy book, and uh, as well as these tutorial videos on commands, if you haven't seen any of these yet, or the intro. Uh, this chapter is called the Tell Ra the Fancy Slash Say, and that's pretty much what it is. It's going to be going over how to use the Tell Ra command, which is basically just a fancier way of using slash say, which it does have some functionality and other uses, which we will be going over as well. So anyway, guys, let's get started. Okay, so first off, what is the tell raw command used for? So the tell raw command, put simply, is just a fancier way to give information to the player in the chat. Uh, if uh, it has far more functions than the slash say command, and it allows it to have color, have little scroll over events, and also click events. And uh, these allow map the maps to appear more entertaining and have like alternative ways to select things or little easter eggs or whatever you want to do. You can manipulate it however you want. Uh, and uh, all these different methods and different things that it can do, the basic ones are going to be taught in this chapter. Uh, there's going to We're going to go over the hover event, we're going to go over colors, and we're also going to go over click events. So first off, we're going to go over the basics of tell raw. So um, to get familiar with chem, just tell sl type slash tell raw into your chat bar at a and then put two open brackets and it'll just say invalid json uh, what tell raw is supposed to be is inside those brackets you're going to put some crazy code and uh, and the what what goes inside can become very complex and very difficult to like learn how to do and that's this is supposed to be a beginner's guide so i'm actually not going to teach you how to have find the code or know what code to put in there because it's just not useful for me. It's not useful for map creators to actually know how to uh, how to do that because it just takes a really long time to type it. So um, how can we make them? Well, instead of knowing what it is in my maps and in everybody else, most other map creators maps, they use a, a generator to do so. So on the Google Doc, I have a link that's for MinecraftJSON.com. It's a website that allows you to make uh, to make these codes and as you can see right here it has the whole basic setup and here is the command right here and we're going to be using this website for the chapter to make them because this is what I use it's very fast it's very efficient it has all the different ways and all the different things you could do with tell raw and it's really well organized and it doesn't just have tell raw we'll be using this in the future for some other commands as well but uh, we're gonna start off with tell raw so how the first thing we need to know is how to create color text and how to use this website. So there's three buttons here. There's add text, delete all, and open saves. Open saves you can ignore unless you, you have to sign in to have a save. So click add text. Then you're going to type what you want in here. And for the book, we have it say notch has joined the world. Then to the right of the text, there's this drop box that says none, and it has a blank in it. And you click the drop box, and you select yellow. And uh, you select the color yellow, and then you're going to click add text. And in the book it says done, it just means add text, whatever. And uh, then you have to copy all this right here, and copy it, or right click and click copy. Then go back into your Minecraft world pull out a command block for this one you can just type it into your chat but you do have to pull out a command block for most of them because it's a really long command but you're just going to I'll just do it for good practice pull up, put the command block put a button on the command block and click the button and it says not just join the world much like if I joined the world it would say so and so has joined the world so I just did that as an example you can troll your friends or whatever it's April Fools have fun with that so um, using using this method you can create like tons of different uh, different colors, you can create multiple chat colors and whatever. You can click not just join the world or you can do cloud wolf and then you click this little pencil right here to edit the text and you can go back here and you can pick blue and you can make it bold, italic, underlined, strike through, obsfuxiate, which just makes the letters scrolly. Some people like to do that. I don't know. I don't really like it. It seems distracting, but you can do whatever you want can do straight through I'll just do this bolded then click add text again then click add text again hit space and type whatever thanks for watching this tutorial there we go click add text leave it put none if you just want it to be white copy and paste it in 
delete this and paste it back in here and then power it again. And as you see, it says Clown Wolf, thanks for watching this tutorial. So you can put as many layers of text as you want and change the color for each one. If you want to do each individual letter a different color, you're just going to have to click add text a bunch of times uh, to change all the colors. Anyway, so that's about it for changing the colors. So now we are going to move on to like displaying hovering text, which you may have seen in a map before. So, uh, and this can be used for like many different things. You may want the player to kind of, uh, you may have chat that displays on the screen that tells players instructions, but then if you hover over the chat, it'll give you further instructions on what to do or give you hints or whatnot. Uh, this is kind of useful. I don't, I don't really use it too much, but uh, it could be useful to you. So you're going to go here, and you are going to go back to the notch message. Notch has joined the world. Okay. Make it yellow. Go back to the notch message. Click add text. Okay. So now you're going to click this little pencil, and you're going to go down to where it says, look at the drop box that says hover event, and click show text. So these other ones show achievement, show entity, show item. These ones are for a different function, and I may show them later, but a lot of instances don't actually work in the chat. They're used for different things. Like I think show entity only works in a book. So go to show text, and this box is unlocked now. This one's still locked. And uh, type, I have here, type a cool guy. Then click uh, hit add text then copy and paste this in and I don't think this is long enough yet you need to have a command block to do this and then power it and not just join the world now if I move my mouse over it it says a cool guy in that little box as you can see right above it and anytime I'm over that text in particular it says a cool guy so you can have just like before you can have multiple texts and only have one word say the uh, text and uh, this can be good if you have like a click event is another example and you want to make it so that the player starts a level by clicking a button, which I haven't taught how to do stuff like that yet. But in the future, you may want to do that, and you could have it hover over the text and that says, like, ooh, click here, so they know what to do. Or maybe it says, clicking this will start the map, or whatnot. So now we're going to move on to the actual click event itself. You're going to go back to this and click on the pencil again. And... Uh, you may need the click event for, as I said before, to activate things or set blocks or whatever, but the click event just allows you to run a command when the player clicks the chat that you have this click event on. So uh, this can be useful for a lot of things, as I already said before. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to delete this just to make sure it doesn't stay. So now you're going to go over to your statement, not just join the world, go over to click event, go down and click run command. Then type slash say notch in brackets hello comma at p. Then click add text, put it into the command block, and power the command block. And now it looks normal, but when I click it, it says cloud wolf in parentheses because I activated the command notch. Hello cloud wolf. Um, there's not much you can do. I mean, if, if you wanted to make it look more realistic of Notch actually speaking, you would copy the way this says with the with the little arrows and make it a tell raw itself, so it's a tell raw within a tell raw. But I just did this for instructional purposes just to show you kind of how to do this. But uh, the other than that, the click event can be added to uh, many other commands. It can, you can combine it. You can do click event tell raws within click event tell raws. There's just tons of possibilities with this command. This command is really useful. Uh, you use it pretty much. I don't think I've seen a map that doesn't use tell raw that is uh, updated to 1.9 at least, or at least 1.8. So uh, if you plan on making a map, or you plan on making a mini game, or anything really, it's nice to use tell raw because you can have color and it makes the level, the word stand out, it makes the game a lot more fun or whatnot. Um, now, if you want to select a player so this has to do with the selector this is the last one that it covers and this is selecting a player you're gonna click add text so we're going to mess around with this and we're gonna say notch has joined the world uh, I'll just delete it okay so we're gonna click add text and we're gonna click go up here and there's raw which is where you type your text which is you may ha not have noticed this there's also scoreboard objective which we're not gonna cover this time page slash sign line which doesn't work unless you're using a sign but go to selector. So selector. So what you're going to put in here is you're just going to put at P or any selector sl at R slash A at A and uh, don't worry about anything else. Don't put any words in here. Don't put your message in there. Just leave the at A 
and try not to have any spaces and we can put this yellow then hit add text then you can add whatever you want I'm gonna put that and then hello and then make that white so I'm going to copy and paste this and what this will do is it will select me and then it will fill in the rest so see cloud wolf because it's the nearest player to the command block or well the nearest player to the tell raw and then it says hello so uh, that's useful if you want to have the player say chat like I do in a lot of my maps like the Hartsville map um, if you want to make it look like the player is quote unquote talking so other than that guys that's it for chapter two I do have three practice problems which if you want to do the practice problems yourself go ahead and pause the video right now other than that what I will do is I will actually be going over the practice problems right now, how to do them in case you get stuck. If you do get stuck, just watch the rest of this video and you will see how they're done. If you don't care, just go ahead and watch the video or just end now. Okay guys, so now we're going to do the practice problems. And for the first one, it says, create a tell raw saying, find the hidden text, make it any color you like, then make the word hidden have a hover event that says found it. So for this one, you go to the website, create a text that says find the hidden text and period I'm going to make it light purple that sounds fun so now you want just the word hidden to be hover event so I'm going to go into here and I'm going to type the word hidden I'm going to make it light purple add it and then I'm going to type the word space text then I'm going to hit light purple enter and I can just delete this now and it says find the space hidden space text so they're split up the word is split up with the word hidden by itself then we go to hover event show text and put found it exclamation point we're gonna add the text copy it now we're going to put it into the command block power it let's find the hidden text so see how it doesn't hover it see how it doesn't hover it, but when you get to hidden it says found it good so that's the answer to the first one and they get a little harder uh, for the second one, what it asks is to uh, make click a thing that says click the hidden text. So this one will be click the the, and we'll remember from next time, and we'll make this dark red, and we'll add hidden. We'll make this dark red so it doesn't stand out. And then space text. And make this dark red. Oh, dark red. Then at hidden, we'll make run command and type slash. It tells you to make a chat message, a slash say message for the click event, which says you clicked it. So slash say you clicked it. Or actually in this instance, it'll make more sense to say I clicked it. Okay, add it, copy and paste it into your command block. And this should be the answer to the second question. So I click here, click here, nothing, nothing, click here. I clicked it, and players can click it as many times as they want. So you may want to do a make a way to get rid of the chat if you're ever using it, uh, so they can't molt spam it or whatever. But we will go over that later. So the last one says create a tell raw starting with the player's name using a selector. So we're going to have to start with the selector. Selector. Make it. I'm going to make this one green. I'm going to put add a. Then followed by I I have hidden some text. Oh chat exclamation point. And let's make this one green. Then it says make I have in some chat have a hover text which says not this one and make the word hidden have a hover text which says this one and a click event which says you win so this one is a lot more complicated so I have then add the word hidden make it green and make this one have a click event type slash say this time I will do I win and hover text show text hover event show text and this is actually showing a lot of stuff, but whatever. Anyways, hover event, show text, and make this one, uh, this one, exclamation point. Then click add text, Ooh. add that, add text, and then some text, and make this green. Make this one a hover event that says not this one. Oh, 
add text and then make this one have a hover event that says not this one add text then copy and paste that into a command block and power it and it says cloud wolf i have hidden some text so i not this one not this one this one not this one not this one so click it and it says i win okay guys so that is chapter two i will be uploading chapter three as soon as possible i haven't typed it up yet i will be typing it up as soon as possible as well i'll be uploading pictures for chapter two if you do follow along in the book i mean if you follow on the book then you wouldn't know that i'm saying this but anyway i'll be uploading pictures for that too uh, anyways, uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support I've been getting recently. We've been growing this channel really fast, uh, faster than it's ever been growing before. Anyway, guys, I will have more content for you coming out since it is a spring break. Expect a map before April 4th for a map challenge. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all later.